Oh. We've got some charred lungs. Oh, yeah. From years and years of uh -huh. added experiences. Yeah. Of all the pollution that we put into our bodies, we're having that pulled out at this time. Yes. Turn your back on issues that you had between the two of you at this time. We're in a strange situation right now, in a house that he's not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. All kinds of weird energy. All right. If he's here, talk to him. Let him know what's going on. And you do the same with him. Okay. Nice time, nice time. You don't have to get into specifics about it. You just have to ask for that forgiveness. At this time. for forgiveness from you and a lot of other male people in my life. I just feel like there's a lot of times that uh, you like bagged on me on interviews on to the press. And just like the other night or whatever, you say we're a hand. It makes me sound like an entity or like a magazine rather than a friend. I know that there's been things that have hurt me by you lashing out at me um, verbally, physically, because of your own demons. And the thing that I resent the most, if you can call it that, was all those times I had to stick charcoal down your mouth and I had to help you come back, bring me back from that place, and you would wake up and look at me like I didn't care. And I apologize if I was embarrassing to you or not be able to function as a human being around you and wanted me around for those great times. Beyond that, I thank you for all the laughter, all the joy, all the great work, all the things that you've brought into my life that I wouldn't have had if we were partners and best friends. Nice kid, I love you. I love you too, man. And this is the way it's done to begin that healing, that connectedness 